appeared to be commendable enterprises. Markowitz and Simmons had certainly developed the flooding property by taking raw mountain land and beautifying it by adding homes and recreational facilities. However, this was accomplished through fraudulent acts. Mark, Markowitz and Simmons directed salesmen to co coerce purchasers to sign membership application blanks for an ostensible fee of $10, which were, in fact, $100 promissory notes. On March 27, 1934, Markowitz and Simmons organized three corporations in Olympia, Washington. See the parallel here. People's Gas and Oil Company for the purpose of public sales, People's Gas and Oil Corporation for the purpose of holding the leases, and People's Gas and Oil Development for the purpose of drilling wells. The principal headquarters were located in the Pacific National Bank building in Los Angeles. On April 4, 1934, Markowitz and Simmons filed in Articles of Incorporation for those of the three companies in Thurston County Clerk's Office. Each of the three companies, as originally organized, had a capital stock of 640 shares, dollar per value, with the African Corporation receiving 224 of those shares. In 1938, several, pe several people's gas and oil employees were indicted on 10 counts of violation of the mail fraud statute and two counts of violation of the Securities Act of 1933, and one count for conspiracy to violate the mail fraud statute and the Securities Act. In February 14, 1939, the People's Gas and Oil Fraud Trial began with federal grand jury indictments against 11 men on 33 counts of mail fraud, violation of the National Securities Act and conspiracy. On August 22, 1939, Markowitz and Simmons were convicted with defrauding 30,000 investors throughout Washington of $1,980,000. They appealed. On April 21, 1941, the appeals court affirmed the district court's judgment. Oh, yes,